Now to a sports story of an entirely different variety. It involves the unlikely and highly controversial friendship between ex-NBA star Dennis Rodman and the brutal young North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Rodman has just announced that he's taking a team of former American players uh, to the communist country for a game celebrating Kim's birthday this week. And ABC's Alex Marquardt is on the story from London. For his latest trip to the Hermit Kingdom, Rodman has announced the team of Americans he's bringing along to play in an exhibition game for dictator Kim Jong-un's 31st birthday. I love him. I love the guys. Awesome. A North Korean senior basketball team will take on the American side that includes former NBA All-Stars Kenny Anderson, Cliff Robinson and Vin Baker, along with Craig Hodges, Doug Christie and Charles Smith. Well, it's not necessarily political. It's not even normal near political. It's just all about basketball and entertainment. In a statement overnight, former New York Nick Charles Smith said he's excited to play in the game, writing, cultural exchange is about sharing, sharing ideas and thoughts on education, culture, and life. Kim and Rodman met last February when Rodman took the Harlem Globetrotters to North Korea for a documentary series. He went back in December to help train the North Korean national team. Rodman has been widely criticized for his new friendship with the leader of one of the most repressive countries in the world. Just last month, Kim had the second most powerful man in the country, his own uncle, executed for treason. A lot of people in America don't approve what I've been doing, but uh, that's, that's not my problem. Rodman responded to the backlash in an interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. Were you aware of his threats to destroy the United States and, and his regime's horrendous record on human rights? I didn't look at all that right there. I understand what he's doing. I don't condone that. I hate the fact that he's doing that, but the fact of it is that, you know what, that's a human being, though. He let his guards down. He did one thing to me. Been a friend. The U.S.-North Korea game is set to tip off on Wednesday. It's unclear whether Rodman himself is suiting up, but it is certain to ignite a fresh round of controversy. Dan, Biana. Yeah, that is true, Alex. Thank you. And let's bring in George Stephanopoulos, who will be hosting this week later this morning on ABC. No Dennis Rodman. No, no Dennis Rodman, <laughs> but you did have that exclusive with him. And, and it's easy to make light of this relationship, but the U.S. has learned a lot more about Kim Jong-un through this friendship, how old he is, that he's a father. Right, and he's the, he's the only person, Dennis Rodman, the only American who's been able to sit down with Kim Jong-un. But this is not going to make a big change in the U.S.-North Korean uh, relationship. This is not the kind of ping-pong diplomacy we saw in the 70s between the United States and China. Rodman's out there for his own interests. Not, you it's not expecting a lot to come back from him. George, meanwhile, there's a more pressing uh, crisis facing the Obama administration this morning. After spending billions of dollars and losing thousands of American lives, not to mention tens of thousands of Iraqi, of Iraqi lives on the war in Iraq, now two major cities in that country, Ramadi and Fallujah, have been taken over by militias associated with al-Qaeda. Uh, Se Secretary of State uh, John Kerry has spoken about it, this this morning. What, is, if anything, can the administration do? Well, what you heard Secretary of State Kerry say this morning is the one thing they're not going to do is send troops back into Iraq. That is completely off the table. There is no way that President Obama, after bringing troops out of Iraq, trying to get them out of Afghanistan this year, is going to send troops back there. And this is embroiled in a much wider conflict now in the Middle East. You also see al-Qaeda on the run, on the march in Syria, all as the United States trying to get troops out of Afghanistan. So a, a thicket of problems for the Obama administration right now, but there is no question one thing will not happen, no troops in Iraq huge quagmire though in the Middle East right now. Mm -hmm. George, thank you. Great thank you. to have you back. Mm -hmm. And George will be talking about Iraq and much, much more on his show this morning as the Powerhouse Roundtable looks ahead to the biggest political stories in 2014.